uh, sort of an iconic phrase in U.S. political policy and uh, political parlance, and now this could be President Obama coming out and, without literally saying it, having accomplished it, accomplished the mission that uh, two American presidents tried before to capture or kill Osama bin Laden. Did. This became, Chuck Todd, uh, a major element of the political debate. In a robust war on terror, why is it that the United States could not capture or kill Osama bin Laden? The recent history tells us that the U.S. forces got closest to, get to him in Afghanistan at Tora Bora, and he was able to, as it was said, slip out the back door uh, back into Pakistan uh, in that tribal, rugged area where there was a bounty on his head of the order of $25 million, and yet nobody was turning him in. He was able to hide effectively, and it became, as I say, part of the political debate. Uh, why is it the U.S. can't get him? Right, and uh, you know, our colleague over in the political unit reminds me today's the eighth anniversary of President Bush saying, giving his infamous mission accomplished speech on that air aircraft carrier, and it, and it is today that, that uh, the United States captured and killed uh, Osama bin Laden, and, and the politics of that, and what Andrew was bringing up on this whole issue of, of getting this guy and, ha and he being the focus and the focal point, and obviously the complicated diplomatic politics of, Pac of our relationship with Pakistan always made this tricky and trickier, and, and Bin Laden knew that, and he was always able to take advantage of that, and it looks like uh, hide uh, in Pakistan. It's as if we always knew where he was in general, just never right. specific enough well, and, to get somebody in there. And to that point, Chuck Todd, uh, when I took the press to Afghanistan this summer and interviewed our commander of U.S. forces there, General Petraeus, who the president just named to now head of the Central Intelligence Agency, uh, I asked him at that point whether he felt Pakistan could deliver Osama bin Laden. It had been a question that had been raised for some time. Secretary Clinton questioned why it was Pakistan couldn't deliver him. Uh, Tom Brokaw, I recall, uh, rem I remember him interviewing President Musharraf of Pakistan and him saying to go after bin Laden in the tribal areas would destabilize the country of Pakistan, a crucial ally, uh, sometimes a difficult ally, but an ally in a region and in a fight. Uh, General Petraeus said in August that he noted that it took him four weeks or so to get out a congratulatory message or some sort of condolence message indicating just how far buried he was in the mountainous regions of that tribal area of uh, Pakistan. Uh, and as I turn to uh, General Barry McCaffrey as well, General, it was General Petraeus who said back in August uh, that he still thought that bin Laden remained an iconic figure, he told me. Uh, he thought killing or capturing bin Laden was very, very important uh, for all of those engaged in counterterrorism around the world. And now tonight, President Obama will announce to the country and the world uh, that the United States has killed him.